Good morning, Blazers. Today is Monday, November 12th. If you didn't already know, today and tomorrow are early release days. Now, please stand for the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to InfoFlow. I'm Alana. And I'm Caroline. In the news, new satellite technology has revealed that there are several lost continents under Antarctica. Make sure to submit announcements about upcoming events important to you and information about your clubs. Make sure to include contact info so people can get back to you. Don't forget to specify the location and times with all of your announcements. Please turn in your National English Honor Society applications to room 218 by November 16th. Email mbhsenglishhonorsociety at gmail.com with any questions. The deadline is closed, Blazers. Now, let's take a look at student activism in our school. I think student activism is important because Young people have like a reputation of not being interested in the issues and not like caring and not taking the time to show that we're engaged. So student activism is really important so that we show that we're gonna take the time to think about how we can help in different areas. I guess people think of activism a lot as just like going out and leading protests and holding signs and it's so much more than that. Like you can get involved in so many different ways. I'm not a you know, I'm kind of shy. I'm not like a great, like loud voice leader, but I'm still plenty involved in lots of causes because there's so many ways that you can be. So it's really important that we get out there and we raise our voices and we, we make uh, people believe that there is an issue here and here's what we need to do to fix it because right now, that's, nobody else is doing that. There's a quote, I think by Alice Walker. She said that activism is the rent I pay to live on this planet which was something that kind of hit me. I was like, whoa, she's right. We have been given a gift in this country to be able to use our voices for the betterment of society. And it is something that's extremely important to use. Join clubs that sound really interesting to them. There are a ton of clubs at Blair that do a lot of different, different issues. Like there's no labels, there's Green Club, there's Girl Up and there's one Blair, and there's also SJ. So you can join any of those and they'll all help you in getting involved in Blair projects. Every single person has a voice and every single person has the power and the ability to use their voice to change the world. It's basically just like doing what you can with your capabilities as a person to make the world a better place. And I think everyone should do at least a little bit of it. Make sure to participate in the things you care about, Blazers. Indoor track practice begins November 15th at 3.30 on the track. Make sure to keep your schedule on track and be there. Now, let's go over to Jordan with World News. Good morning, I'm your host Jordan, and this is World News. In the U.S. midterm election, Republicans claim victory in the, in the Senate by 51 percent, while the Democrats claim their victory in the House by gaining 27 seats. Greece is in the process of separating church from state, and the government paid to over 10,000 priests has civil servants, but instead paying them as clergy. India now holds the world's tallest statue known as the Statue of Unity, honoring Sadar Patel. It is about twice the size of Statue of Liberty. Bolivia is leading Latin America into clean energy, as the government has passed a law introducing the second largest photovoltaic solar plant carried out in Bolivia. It can generate enough energy to support of about 300,000 people. Through the U.S. midterm election, Rashida Tlaib and Elon Omar became the first Middle Eastern and Muslim woman to be voted into Congress. Thank you for watching World News. I'm your host, Jordan, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Jordan. Girls basketball tryouts start this Thursday, November 15th at 3.30 p.m. Make sure that you have submitted the online registration and turned in your doctor's physical to Ms. Boulay. 
If you have any other questions, please see Ms. Ferguson in room 341 before school or during lunch. Are you interested in public health and helping others? Do you want to, be, do you want to become aware of diseases and health issues? Well, you should go join Red Cross Club in room 345 on November 15th from 320 to 415. Register for Winter Sports Blazers. The deadline is tomorrow, November 13th. And that's all for today's show, but tune in tomorrow for more. Check out our website, bncaonline.net, to submit announcements, and follow us on Twitter at BNC Blair and on Instagram at bnc.infoflow. Have a moderate Monday, enjoying your extra two hours. Gobble till you wobble, Blazers.